everyone so today I want to show you guys a pretty cool tip on for MacBooks and uh, pretty much how to get the data off if you're having a little bit of trouble if you have the same exact problem obviously we have but we're gonna show you today I have this a2141 this is a MacBook Pro 2019 it's a 16 inch so it's a very very big large screen it's a very expensive laptop too and um, what's going on is there's no display right and uh, the customer doesn't really believe it turns on it's just obviously there's just no display so nothing's really happening to it whenever you press the power button and we want to see if that's really the case so let me go ahead and check um, this does also have a touch bar so you would think that the touch bar would illuminate obviously if there's a way for it to turn on right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to press the power button i'm going to see what happens here so you see a good tip to actually see if it's going to be turning on with it is you see this caps light here you see how that came on because i pressed it and sometimes it takes a little bit of time because it's turning on the first time. It's probably in the Apple logo right now. And until, yep, now I can turn it on, now I can turn it off. So this usually means to me, um, unless there's a short or there's some, some type of liquid spill or something, usually there's a problem with the LCD here. And um, you, I can actually feel it starting to get a little bit warm, and I do know that it's turning on. Now, our customer did try to put on an external monitor and... Um, he is correct that actually it will not display to an external monitor even though it's in this form so you would think if there's a screen issue why won't it display out to an external monitor well that's a really good question so uh, what happens with a lot of these ones um, is you can actually get little food particles inside here uh, whoop, that. you get food particles inside you see here the crevice of where the screen is all along this edge and all along the other side there too and now why is that a problem is because these are actually cables that, that are exposed from the inside of the laptop uh, to the outside of the laptop and getting any little type of mi micro, um, even not even really micro, just like any type of food, crumbs, dust, debris, anything. There's actually a lot around this area can actually get underneath the cable there and get inside the grooves of the cable and do little micro tears to where you get no display. Most of the time you do need to get a screen replacement or at least there's a problem with the LCD. But uh, these ones are pretty expensive, right? They're 16 inch. Um, they're very, very expensive. I know when they first came out, they started like around 2,500 or so when they first came out. So the screen is actually very expensive on these. Sometimes it's hard to get them. Sometimes you don't want to do the repair. You're just like, hey, man, I want to get the M1 Pro Max or the M2 um, Pro Max that's going to come out probably within a few months. I just want to do that. I just want to get my data off, but I want to do this myself. I just want to get the data. So if the screen isn't working, why can't I get the data off? Why can't I connect it to an external monitor? Well, a lot of times on these MacBooks, um, what can happen is there's usually two things that can happen. Whenever you do keep turning on, turn off because you're not sure if it's a power issue or if there's something else, you're not even sure if it's turning on, you're going to get stuck in this something called like a reset password. And sometimes it'll only come up on the main screen, even if you have the external plugged in because it's going to recognize that the screen's plugged in first and then it's going to show uh, on the second display usually that happens after you log into the, to the machine itself that goes on to my second point where um, sometimes you won't see a display because when you tur turn it on it's going to recognize the display on here first because it's already plugged in and then usually when you log in then the external display does display and that's not on every single model that can happen on certain ones but we've seen it a lot more with a 15 and 16 inch the bigger ones we've seen that be more the case for it or maybe there's a problem with the screen obviously it makes sense that there may be a short to the screen itself and then it's not displaying out to um, a main monitor so what can you really do here well what we want to do is we want to bypass um, the screen here so well all you need to do really is just disconnect the screen and it should come up on an external monitor right yeah, that's exactly what we're, going, what we're going to be doing today. So I'll show you guys how to do that real quick. So before you guys do that, we do a lot of videos. We like to show you guys a lot of cool information here. If you wouldn't mind just hitting that like button, it really helps YouTube show um, these type of videos to other people that might help save them time, money, and lots of headache, right? So if you guys could do that, really help us a lot. Just hit that like button down below. And uh, let's actually just get started. Let's get right into it. All right, that's all you need to do. There's a few screws on the back here. Okay, now since this is up, uh, you can ask a few people different ways. I just like to use a little suction cup because these actually have clips on the side here. And you just need to lift up a little bit so you get you get your finger underneath it. Then you can pop it like that. And it still isn't going to come up, so you need to slide it because it's also attached here. Okay, then all you do is just pop it like that and it should come up. Then don't worry, there's no spring traps. There's nothing else going on here. <laughs> like on uh, the 1534, if you do it on there, you're definitely going to have a problem. Because uh, that has like a cable, but there's no other cables here. Okay, so now I have it um, disconnected. Let's disconnect the battery there. Man, it got a little bit dirty. Man, it got me dirty there too. Disconnect the battery. This is the data line cable. And then you also want to make sure that you get uh, the plus and minus here. 
You want to make sure you do this because you don't want to short the laptop while you're doing this anyway. So, all right. So since that's up, I guess we can move this to the side. Now we now we're left with the LCD connection at the top, and it's all just you just need to do is one connection, and it's the one really up here. And you can see there may be some type of liquid spill. Maybe that's why it's doing it in the first place. You see a little bit of a smudge there. So there's a gotta get the right screwdriver. It was not gonna work. There's only two of them, and we have, we're going to put that to the side. Now we have a little latch here, so you just want to pop this up. Alright, we disconnected now the LCD, and what we want to do sometimes, if you don't want to re reconnect it or you don't want to make problems, we can put something called like captain tapes. And now I have this orange tape, this is like a, a heat resistant tape, it's called captain tape. It's very lightweight tape too, so we can actually put on the connection itself there. And um, what's going to happen is it's not going to reconnect itself, or if it does, we're not going to have anything short out there, right? And now what we want to do is we want to plug it in here. Now we want to get power. I believe th uh, there are certain models that you have to replug in the battery for it to turn on. Um, other models you don't have to, so it really depends. So I would probably recommend uh, plugging it back in. Okay, there's a screw there. We need the, the plus and minus as well as the data line. Okay, so when you uh, ever usually unplug a Mac, you, uh, especially the new ones, you have to have a charger. Otherwise, it's going to show you the battery icon over and over again. So now we have this plugged in. We also do have a dongle here that I have. It's like an HDMI uh, dongle. This one actually does have power pass through too because some of the power ones just, uh, you need to have power. There's only two USB-C ports. Don't get me started on that one. But uh, this one, we can just plug in here. And I'll show you at least the turning on. Then I'll go switch to our external monitor. So we'll plug it in. Now it should come on now. Shouldn't be much of a problem anymore. You see the fans are going to spin. They should spin by themselves because Max like to turn on when you plug in a charger. So let's wait for the fan to spin. We need to lift it up a little bit. Okay. Yeah, there you go. I didn't have to hit the power button. Okay. So now it's on now. I can switch to my external and I'll show you guys that because this one isn't actually plugged in. I need to hold my camera. I'm sorry. Don't have uh, the, those Elgato Pros. I don't actually have, <laughs> I don't have one of those Elgato Pros or anything, so I only have like one port to connect it into. Man, hit that like button to support us. And it must be low battery because it's, <laughs> it's showing the battery. It's showing that it's charging at least. That's good. Well, there we go. I think it's coming on now. See, it's going to go that, and then it should hopefully reboot itself now. I actually had a little bit of juice there, so it should be turning on. And there you go. Now, I don't want to show it because it's going to go to the customer's name, but yeah so there you go it's in this i just put on guest user because you don't want to see his uh, the actual user himself and i'll show you it over here i guess that's it that's how it's connected right now it's all fun game you see it's connected there the hdmi so that's how you do it anyways guys i hope you guys are already watching this video on how to get your data off especially if you don't really want to go more for a screen replacement or you want to get it off before you do a screen replacement that's definitely a good way to do that as well because sometimes it's not going to display out to the external monitor until you disconnect the lcd cable so this is the a2141 macbook pro 2019 16 inch model very nice very expensive model so hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you did please leave a like it really does help us a lot subscribe for more content see you guys in the next video thanks a lot for watching take care guys bye